I'd like to start this video about one of my favorite officers, Lucas Meredith, or as I call him, Officer Meredith, by reading the department's alleged mission statement, which I'd argue they seem to fail to accomplish at almost every turn. Henderson, Kentucky Police Department's mission statement. Henderson is a unique community that is one of the best places in the country to live and work. We at the Henderson Police Department understand this and are committed to working with the community to maintain that quality of life. We understand that we have an obligation to treat all people not just with courtesy, fairness, and <coughs> professionalism, but also with politeness and respect. As we approach our profession in this manner, we strive for excellence in order to assure that our community and its visitors enjoy life. Now, before I continue, for all the cop suckers out there that think no officer could ever be unprofessional nor do anything wrong, you might want to turn off the video right now to prevent waking up in the hospital due to uncontrollable seizures caused because I would dare to assert that they could. You've been warned. To everyone else, I know some of you are going to ask yourself, is it really fair for you to kick a man when he's down? <laughs> Make no mistake. This officer would no professionalism if it kicked him in the fucking nuts. He doesn't give two shits about me, you, our rights, nor anyone else's he allegedly serves and protects, and has proven himself not only to be a Blue Isis tyrant thug, but also one that seeks approval from his superiors as he brags and laughs about purposely antagonizing private citizens. He has no grasp on the concepts of professionalism nor accountability. I'll refresh your memory really quickly here. Can you put, not shine that in my directly in my camera? At least I, it illuminates your entire car. But if you shine it right here, it wouldn't be directly on my camera. Oh, okay. You don't care though, do you? So license, insurance, okay. registration, please. Yeah. Yeah. He got real mad at me. I uh, he turned his camera around on me and I put it, my light directly into it. Directly into it. He said, uh, "Will you move your light?" <laughs> Well, Officer Meredith, I didn't find that very professional, so I filed a complaint against you. Now, we all know what happens when police investigate police, right? You guessed it. They investigated themselves and found they were professional and did nothing wrong. Yay! Here is the result from that complaint. Well, golly gee, did you see who decided to close the case and find any allegations unfounded? Yep, the acting chief at the time, who was already not a fan of mine, to say the least, which can be seen in previous videos. Also, he is the one whom likes to act out of retaliation, vengeance, retribution, all while enjoying the blue privilege and blue ISIS mentality he obviously embraces. Such as in this example here. I say, I say you close that. I say, I say we and this all brings me to my main story. Officer Lucas Meredith, a.k.a. Officer Meredith. Recently, he was suspended for violating departmental policy on storage of an unsecured firearm in his vehicle. I want to make a couple points here. During the investigation, it was discovered that the theft of department-issued equipment had occurred once before to Officer Meredith. And I'm quoting this from one of the stories. Quote, during the investigation, it was determined that approximately two years ago, department-issued equipment also was stolen from the garage at a previous residence of Officer Meredith. Despite instructions and written policy, Officer Meredith did not prepare a memo or file a police report. End quote. Stories and links are posted at the end of the video. Keep in mind, Officer Meredith clearly and confidently stated in October of this year, 2018, that he had never made any mistake while working at the Henderson PD to his knowledge, while under oath and testifying at my failure to signal trial, during which I was found not guilty. Did he not know he had violated instructions and written policy when he made that declaration under oath? You may review his testimony right here. 
police officer, have you ever made a mistake? To your knowledge. Not to my knowledge. So, in closing, I'd like to make just a few more points. I know, I know. It's a long video. But hey, at least I didn't type it all, right? Anyway, one, this officer may be down if he doesn't appeal and win. He may have lost all pay and benefits for four months and even been punished with an $800 reduction in pay. But how many people do you think he has acted against with purposeful antagonizing, bragging, and disrespect as I also experienced from him? Two, no, I don't think I'm giving him any less than he deserves. He lacks basic respect and professionalism. Three, I was always taught what's good for the goose is good for the gander. The clock starts at 12 and ends at 12. What goes around comes around. You know what I mean. He is reaping the reward of his own words and deeds. Finally, I want to give him a special New Year's gift directly from me to him, while also asking him one simple question. Quote, do you still think you're perfect, Officer Meredith? End quote. Wait, let's go back in time and let a former me ask him again right now.